Freedom, folks, just another word for nothing left to lose. And when you get that attitude that you're not backing down from tyranny, you are truly free. Okay, let's jam in a few calls here. Who's up next? Richard in Colorado, then uh, Tori and Nick. I want to at least cram those three in. Richard, you're on the air. Uh, thank you for taking my call. And, uh, you know, you're going to make a lousy cult leader. You keep telling people to think for themselves, and it's just not going to work, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you gotta stop telling people to think for themselves because they keep doing that and they keep finding out their own truth in life, you know. And and I just want to say that you remind me of uh, Sun Tzu, uh, Sun Tzu, I believe his name was, that wrote The Art of War, and uh, and Superman. Because oh, pl <laughs> folks, <I'm> <laughs> look, look, actually, that stuff tortures me. Some people get all puffed up and everything. Uh, I'm look, I'm just, I've been doing this for 14 years, so I, I, I'm good at it. And I'm also bad at it. I got a lot of problems, but look, I am good at getting people motivated to take action, but they already innately all had that in them. But you fight for truth, justice, and the American way, and you use the enemy's weapons against them. You strike where they are weak and you are strong. You are using their, all right, you aren't that guy, but you're using their techniques and their battle. And I appreciate that, Alex. You've got to keep doing that. I want to remind people, be a fully informed juror. Go to FIJA.org. That's a big part of the solution. That's why they're trying to create their own little special courts to try their police and stuff now, just like King George III did. Yeah, so the fully informed jury is another way to take our power back. Exactly. My son, in fact, uh, 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 stopped the police from using their illegal Gestapo tactics on a member of our citizenry here in Denver um, by standing up on a jury and saying, hold on a second. It's their job to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt. And did they uh, trod on this man's constitutional rights in the, in the pursuit of their... And you know why corrupt police hate the word Gestapo? That reminds people that in history, police are dangerous. That okay. police have got to be controlled, just like everything else does. I appreciate your call. Good to hear from you and talk to you for hours, but i got to get everybody in there. Tori in Idaho, you're on the air. Thank you, Alex. Um, I actually am a younger guy, 21 years old, and I've grown up playing video games my entire life. And I woke up about a year ago, and in retrospect, a lot of the games that I played were promoting world government and the military and stuff like that. But I actually played a video game just recently called Metal Gear Solid 4, and it actually had a lot of parallels with our current reality. It's about um, an alternate reality where there's a world government that's controlled by AIs, and those AIs have control over nanomachines that are in every single soldier and every single person, and so that the nanomachines can control all the soldiers and decide whether or not they can fire their guns and so on and so forth. Um, what's the name of this? Uh, what's the name of this game? Metal Gear Solid Four. Oh yeah, Metal Gear Solid. I, I get a lot of emails about that. Yeah, and it, it was kind of strange because it wasn't necessarily predictive programming but it was because it was kind of exposing the fact that there's a shadow government and elections are controlled but it's also not. conditioning it so when you go oh bilderberg group and they go oh i saw that in a movie or oh i yeah. saw that in a video game uh you know that's yeah, the only exactly. problem look i'm out of time i promise go to the other caller call me back tomorrow we'll talk about it let's talk to uh nick in new york take us out of here nick go ahead yeah alex how's it going good sir yeah i'm just calling you know because you know, I respect everything you do, and I believe, you know, everything that's going on because a lot of people are evil. And uh, I try to inform my, my family and friends, and, and like like Andrew said, they they trying to say that I'm being brainwashed. But I told them when... Well, when that's, because, that's because they're scared of the truth, and they're cowering, but in the end, they're going to thank you. They're the ones that are brainwashed. What uh, what else are they doing? Uh, no, nah, they're just, they just telling me, you know, making fun. And I'm telling them when, when everything hits the fan... Look, keep it that. up. Keep being right. Keep being right. God bless you. Retransmission starts now. Infowars.com with the Korea Info.